Hello YouTubers, welcome to vlog number 117. So we are not in Henley this morning, we are in Oxford with Vaz. Hello again guys, <laughs> uh, had, a, had a fun time with the boys. A good time with the boys and today's vlog is all about team bonding and teamwork. And in the distance there we see the other lads as well. All right, so what the, our plan is for today, a little bit of discussion about how important team bonding is and crew bonding, how effective that can be, especially when you're in a pain cave. And then we have to go get some atomic burger in Oxford. That's going to be absolutely delicious. And then we'll see what else happens for the rest of the day. But let's get to a burger. And now we're in the vehicle with the lads. <laughs> the Yaris is a bit of a, a space. This is a pretty massive vehicle. So. Yeah, we're just slowly squeezing this guy out. Yeah. Now we're going on the way to Atomic Burger with the boys through Ooh. the streets of Oxford. Yeah, boys. Yeah, Are you looking yeah, forward boys. to your burgers, boys? Oh, yeah! yeah. 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 Nice. <laughs> We'll see you after. And now we're driving along and look at the state of the road here. Look how narrow it is, especially for all those American viewers. And all the small cars too. Britain countryside. The countryside of Oxford. And we've made it onto the main street of Oxford. Come on guys, out the Yaris. Oh, thank you. Oi. Nice. This way. Oh, where are your shoes? <laughs> no, there's no chance. Okay. We're not in New Zealand right now, but always wearing no shoes. All right, let's go get some burgers. The boy's going in for the burger. Oh, yeah. Table for what? Table for four, five, five, six. Six of you. Is it great to go? Six. Oh, okay. Jack's coming, right? Is that camera? Indeed. Is that right? Yeah. And that's us made it in, just sitting down waiting on Jack to come and play. Let's see the main. Triple steak burger, triple. You're gonna get one of these bad boys. Bad attitude. Yeah. <laughs> so the bad attitude we've got. Double stat burger, double USA cheese, double bacon, double pulled pork, and some barbecue sauce. That sounds like a great team bonding meal. And some <laughs> triple stat burger. And some fries. Oh yeah, let's get to it. Okay, and we have decided on what we're going to eat, everyone, and Jacob is going to get a fallout, or the fallout, and he's just the, to eat this burger, to attempt this challenge, you have to sign a disclaimer form. You ready, Jacob? This is a bad idea, but I'm just going to send it. <laughs> Okay, this is our disclaimer form. It basically states all of the rules and all of the requirements, and then I just want you to name, sign it, and date it. Actually, sounds kind of serious. Oh my god. Well, he's going to order that. He's going to read this form very carefully because he is of sound mind, and then we'll see what happens when we get the rest of the burgers. And some burgers, yes. Yes. Yeah. Thank you very much. And here we go. Oh, 
So when I see the size. Oh yeah. Some delicious food being served up. Now just to wait for Mr. Barker's Fallout burger. Are you confident, Jacob? No. <laughs> oh my goodness, this could be interesting. Sorry, you two. I tried my best. Like Vass said, shoot or shoot, and uh, I guess I missed the target a bit. <laughs> Outrageously spicy. Had a good shot at it. Unfortunately, did not make it. So Jacob gets to go in the wall of shame, unfortunately. But a very good try. Interesting. Team bonding. All right. And we've made it outside of Atomic Burger. Jacob, come here, Jacob. How was it? Worth it? I mean, no. <laughs> yeah. It's not worth it at all. Was it, it worth the opportunity and the experience? Uh, we'll see, yeah. <laughs> My insides are currently on fire. Uh, looking forward to the lie down later. Because <laughs> remember, food is fuel. <laughs> There's some sort of fuel anyway there. Very that spicy. Rocket fuel. Rocket fuel. Oh yeah, be flying this week. All right, I think that is it for Oxford. Now time to head back to Henley on Thames. Then we're going to get some Rowan footage in and talk about air thoughts about team bonding. Isn't that right, boys? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, queen. Yeah, queen. So we're going to drive back to Henley, and while we're doing that, we'll get some rowing footage in from over the week, some of my favourites, so we can talk about Team Morning and the advantages of being together in the pain cave. Okay, let's get to it. Okay, and we've made it to Erg Thoughts. Just going to be a short one today, just telling you, or as you can tell from the title, just talking about the advantages of Team Bonding, Team Spirit, being on the same page with all the guys, especially in rowing, but obviously this can be applied to any other activity or sport on just general life I suppose so so we had a good sort of Saturday Sunday with the guys just trying to get the the camaraderie going and Jacob really stepped up to the plate there with his ch burger challenge that was a very interesting uh, take on the weekend we didn't expect to go in that direction but it's all just about having fun and all just about sort of really just focusing the minds in one path and that's kind of how a team bonding, uh, crew bonding, whatever it is, can really help a crew go much, much faster. I've talked about some motivational stuff before, how teams can go much faster than maybe the sum of their parts or individual parts because there is that, that want to do better than the person in front of you or behind you, that want to just give it, go that extra mile. And also, when the team bonding is really there and you you are really sort of trusting of the person in front or behind you it can really just help 
one, you go that extra mile, and of course, the other person. If you're trusting each other, you can really go for it. And that's also a, the more sort of time you can spend together, whether that's in that crew or in the workplace or wherever it is, it can all just make boats go faster because rowing is such a team sport and the more you understand the the people that you're in a crew with, the more you're able to access that as essentially free speed. You can't get this or you can't get that speed from being together from training. You can get fitter, you can get stronger, you can pull harder, you can yam on it more. But there is also always another level that can be found. I'm not saying there's the only way to do it, but there's always another level that can be found just by being closer as, as, a, as a boat, as a crew, as a team, as a functioning group. And it can really just help, especially when you're in the pain cave. If you're in a pain cave by yourself, how are you going to get out? How are you going to survive? But if you're in a pain cave with the pain cave with the with your fellow teammates, that's when you have just that bit more confidence to really either find your way out, or maybe you just want to set up camp in there, and or maybe even you want to dig a hole because your other teammate has a flashlight behind you. You've got the shovel. Your other teammates cheering you on, and it's all just a matter of trust and belief together. And this, when everyone is on the same page, it can really cause massive results. And like I said, it was just a short erg thoughts because it was really sort of applicable to this weekend. We just wanted, we did some severe team bonding, crew bonding this last couple of days. And I thought it would apply quite nicely to today's vlog, especially with Jacob going hard on that burger challenge. But that'll be it for the short erg thoughts today. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Let me know in the comments below how you have experienced team bonding. If you've experienced the team bonding in a crew or any sort of activities you may have done before to promote team spirit. Not sometimes it can be really cheesy. Other times it can be like us. We just went out for a burger. Sometimes we'd be going out at night somewhere or it could just be sitting in a garden together playing cards. It's, all, it's just about spending time together. But that is it for Eric Thoughts today. And I'll see you on tomorrow's Monday Motivation. Oh, yeah. So see you after this little bit of footage. And we've made it back to the house after a very wonderful drive, dropping all the guys off at their respective houses around Henley. But now it's time to rest for the rest of the day. Hopefully you enjoyed a little bit of team bonding, team spirit. Eric thought it's just a shorter one today. Now my sister is here, like I said, she was coming. Say hello, Mari. Hello. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> She's down here training a little bit. Because remember, variation can help with motivation. Just checking out Leander Club and rowing on the course in her dingle. All right. The dingle. That is the rest of the vlog for today. Hopefully you enjoyed it. A little bit different on a Sunday. Remember, subscribe if you haven't already, hit that like button, and have a good one.